Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, welcome back. Saturday episode, uh, so hopefully for a long haul day. Came from Manchester City Centre last night, so that video uh, should be up by now. Give that a watch. Uh, went to the Gaslight Anthem gig last night at the O2 Apollo, which was banging, like they always are. If you don't know the Gaslight Anthem, but you like like folk rock and chilled out rock music, so check them out, because they're great. Um, made it to Buxton for today, so that is our call. Actually, you probably knew from the, uh, the title of the video. Uh, yeah, don't know much about bugs. It looks very, very nice from what we can see so far. Hilly. You know I love hills. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll have a, a good day. Hopefully the weather will hold out. We're going to start at the railway, which looks a, a beautiful old pub right by a, a railway bridge. And the station is just up there. So, aptly named, let's get on with it and see what Buxton's got to offer. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, by the way, please do consider subscribing. It really does help us out, really do appreciate it. Let's get on with our day. It's very nice, very swanky looking. Uh, got some, their own, obviously their own sort of. So I'm going for this, uh, this Trailblazer Stout. So they're for Joseph Holt. Obviously run the, uh, obviously run the pub. We've, we've encountered them before in a few places. Uh, and I've been very impressed by them every time we have. But this is a uh, yeah, very nice uh, looking little pub. Dog friendly, sweet little pug over there. Friendly staff. Let's uh, let's try this uh, this Joseph Holtz Trailblazer Stout. That's very good. That's very good. I like it. I think that was a wonderful place to start. It was a lovely a lovely pub actually. That Joseph Holt seemed to know their stuff. Uh, whenever we've been to one of their pubs before, it's always been good. We walked under the railway bridge because the town's Wetherspoons is set just outside the town by those things. It's called the Y Bridge House. Looks very nice. Old school weather spoons building, isn't it? So that's gonna be stop two of the day. Can't wait to see what this carpet's like. Uh, decent enough sized old school spoons. Uh, decided to have some munch in here just to get on with the day quick. Never tried it before. Pasta Alfredo with some chicken. It's not bad actually. Probably just gone with the usual fish and chips. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a reasonable size spoon. The staff don't seem overly uh, friendly or good in here, just dump stuff on the table and don't really, uh, yeah, not very helpful, um, but yeah, you know, it's what it is, it's all right, let's go on with it. But it did rain, but we didn't get too wet, uh, but it's a bit fresh out, it's really cold, uh, windy, that's at the peak, say. Um, right, five minute walk down the high street part, brings us to Milton's Tap, old looking, old school little pub with the stone frontage, so it's stop number three. Milton's tap. Old school vibe, lots of people eating in here. Food smells really good. Some big stops. Yeah, nice and busy early doors. Always good to me. Uh, also got some nice little booths. Little TVs and stuff in them. So yeah, so uh, it's a nice little pub this. Yeah, thriving, right, right, in, the, right in the town centre. Feels, yeah, feels really old. Stone walls and things in it. I'm quite impressed. Right, uh, just along to the lounge brand of, this one called Sacro Lounge. Looks a bit, uh, a bit Mediterranean, doesn't it, from the, uh, from the outside, the old uh, the bricks and the colouring. So it'll be exactly the same as the rest of the lounge brand once you're inside. Uh, it'll be funky lampshades, I can see them through the window already, uh, and painting stuff. But there was a, there was a nice, easy little cafe bar stop off. So stop four, Sacro Lounge. Yeah, it's a nice little example of one of the, uh, the ones in the brand, to be honest. Got the plenty of them. There they are. They're wonderful. But yeah, decent enough size on two floors. Not the biggest one of the, of the brands, but the staff are friendly and efficient in here. Um, and yeah, it's not a bad example of one of their establishments, which to be honest, we quite like. Um, we've still never eaten in one, have we? We've never eaten in one of these. And the food always does look and smell really good. It seems to come out fast. One day we'll definitely eat in one of these and then we'll be able to tell you if the food's worth it as well. But they're always busy, always bustling. Um, and yeah, loads of people do come and eat in them. So they must be, must be doing something right. That's four down. 11 or so to go, I think, for Buxton. Not that many, so shouldn't be too long a day. Yeah, I like the lounge brand, it's a decent one. So we've walked from there, come out, turn right, uh, walk up the hill. Uh, only a slight hill, so not too bad. Come to this, this isn't the sharpest pub. Craft beers, fine wines, all seasons. So that's gonna be our next. We'll place this uh, five craft beer selections on the taps. Loads of choice. <laughs> Loads of sours in there. I could literally spend hours. Neon Raptor ones is nice to see. So they had the Fruit Rascals last week. Obviously they're dead close to where we live, so we know them very well. But just a, a lovely little place. It's dog friendly as well. Lovely quirky little place. Oh, really nice. It's nice to find such little place that you didn't know. Always coming across them. It's great to see. Top place. A gorgeous little place, season six, with a really, really friendly lady running it. Absolutely lovely. 
good finds because Adrian said we didn't know that we were going to stumble across that one. Right, our next stop is on Red Willow. Now, we didn't have a particularly good experience. In fact, we had a terrible experience with their uh, their one in Macclesfield with some of the rudest people uh, running the place that we'd ever encountered. So we didn't even get a drink in there last time. So I'm interested to see now what their uh, their main flagship one in Bucks is like. Hopefully it'll be a lot better. Red Willow up next. Honestly, this is night and day compared to our Macclesfield experience. This place is lovely. So it's an old bank building uh, and it's, it's beautiful from outside the Zodiac. It's gorgeous inside. We sat on the uh, orbit. Have a look at this, look. That is stunning, isn't it? What a beautiful place. Um, Beer choices are good. Can fridge over there in the corner. Decent amount of uh, real ales and, and stuff on as well. Staff are friendly. Um, I said I oh, it's dog friendly, as you can hear. Um, I honestly, I don't understand what was wrong with the staff in the Macclesfield ones. They are absolutely abysmal. Like really the worst we've seen in 3,000 pubs or without the staff in there. So to have come in here and, and had a completely different experience, we're, yeah, it, it, it's very positive. We're very glad to have come into this one and, and been able to see that it is just the Macclesfield one there's always an issue with because everybody said that they're both great pubs and I see they, the Macclesfield one looked like a great pub. But yeah, just a really poor experience there, but a really good one here. So very nice to actually see that Red Willow aren't all like that. It is actually just a bad experience that day in that Macclesfield one. So yeah, top place this, good beer choices, worth a visit. Yeah, great experience in there to be honest, really liked it. You can tell though that Buxton is quite a, a, a rich, well-to-do area. This is a, this is their palace hotel. Look at that. It's quite grand, isn't it? But it's full of beautiful, old, grand buildings everywhere we've been so far. Lovely looking buildings. Lovely looking little town. Really enjoying it so far, apart from the weather. But you know, used to that now. She's still opposite the Palace Hotel, didn't realize we were going to come off. It's quite so quick. Beer and Bean. Cafe bar, looks very nice. Again, set in one of these oldie woldy oldie woldy looking buildings with the tiles and stuff. So this is stop number seven. This is a lovely little place. I mean, I'm not a coffee man. I absolutely hate coffee. I can't stand the taste. I can't stand as well any of it, but this is a really nice little place. It's superb. It's a lovely looking little gash, man. With some uh, decent joints. I've gone for this uh, this vedette uh, extra white, which I've never, uh, never even heard of before, but. Ooh, um, a bit like Blue Moon. Very nice. Mm, good choice. Lovely little place. Nice friendly little cafe bar. Uh, dog friendly again. Yeah, I, I like it. Everything's dog friendly around here, which is nice to see. But you come straight out of there, turn around a corner, and you are confronted by the old courthouse, which has apparently got Bar Rene in it just here. Uh, Buxton Brewery Cellar, Buxton Brewery Tap House, just there, all encased in this one establishment. So we'll uh, see where we go from here. Looks nice though, looks really nice. Impressive looking building. I think this whole thing's going to be quite impressive. Yeah. yeah, ceilings and bits. <laughs> nice little place. Only got asked for ID. ID. I didn't. I never do. I'm still rattled that Holly got ID'd. I've been rattled that I did. I never get ID'd. Oh well. Uh, right, same building still. Uh, Buxton Brewery looks to have two little tiny bits of the same bit. Buxton Brewery Cellar, Buxton Brewery Tap House. So it's all Buxton Brewery. We're going to do one or the other. We're going to do the Holly Picker side. We're going to go and do the cellar. So that is going to be our next port of call. Little place as you'd expect. Again, the, uh, the ceilings are beautiful looking little place. There. I love the strictly no rock climbing symbol. But yeah, got some real ales on. Got some decent other bits in a fridge. Right here. Oh, nice looking little bits. Decent choices up there, including a sour. It's really nice. Gooseberry sour. Very, very nice. And some real ale offers. Oh, no, thing. Super little bar. Super little place. The Buxton Brewery Tap House also looks really special to me. It looks lovely, but we want to try and get through everything today. So we're going to hurry along. Um, brings us up two minute walk down the road. Brings us next to Port of Call. The old clubhouse, which I think is a Green King, if uh, Google has served me correctly. Look at the Opera House. Look how beautiful that is. Just absolutely stunning, loads of Buxton. So the old clubhouse is our next stop. That's a pretty cool office on it. Um, kind of opposite. Oh, that's what's yeah, I do I do think Green King have really upped their game with the beers and things that they have on offer. But it's a beautiful looking place, look. Sort of great grand dining space, grand staircase. Beautiful stained glass and things in the in the doors, everywhere else. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, the one downside, idiots smoking in the doorway as you come in. 
It's just, it's so off-putting. It's such a bad look for any pub. I just wish they should ban doing it. I'm just to make sure I get in the, uh, the doggy menu, which is always a great idea. Love that. So uh, we've just gone from a Green King pub. So uh, yeah, welcome back to the great British time lapse because we've gone from Buxton to Mayfair, it seems, in, in a space of 100 years. I've been joined by Emily from pubtours.co.uk. She, she's much more professional than me, so. But look at this, honestly. Look at, look. Uh, so this is where Buxton spring water comes, made. And that's the garden. The behind the hydrant. Buxton spring water comes directly out of this fountain. Wow. If only I'd bought 48 plastic bottles with me, I would be over there getting water like a king. Honestly, I don't even know what to make of this. So this is the Crescent Hotel, and they've got a wonderful bar. And honestly, looking at the outside of it, we need to, we need to take you in and see this, don't we? We need to stay here, we need to stay here one night. Yeah, I'll just sell my soul. <laughs> Lot I've got one. Yeah, th thanks for that, wife. Right, yeah. So, oh, no, this is magnificent. This is the, yeah, the Crescent Hotel. We're gonna go into the Crescent Bar. Because Emily said it was her round, so I'm up for going in here. I'm up for going in here. My God, it looks magnificent. I feel very underdressed, but you know, let's, let's brave it anyway. Crescent Hotel will be stop 11 of the day then. Honestly, this place is ridiculously stunning. Um, some of the grand halls we've walked through to get to the bar area, like the marble floors, the old paintings, um, things like that. This is just the bar area of the, of the place. The, I mean, it is, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's, it's just, it's just exquisite. Um, I know, I'm lost for words really with how beautiful it is. Um, it's a spa hotel, so uh, Holly reckons she's going to treat me to a, a two night spa day once. You imagine me, a two day spa day. Uh, well, yeah, two spa weekends, whatever. But no, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty exquisite, it's pretty stunning. Hell. Steep, walking, not good. Not too bad to be fair. Um, right, made it to the top of the hill, just barely. My calves are own, I tell you. But that Crescent Hotel, mind blowingly, uh, mind blowingly beautiful. We come to Lubens. This looks, uh, this looks quite fancy, quite nice. I quite like it. This is quite good. So, this is our next stop, and then the uh, King's Head stumbling distance, which is after that hill. Exactly what we're doing here. Stop 12, Lubens. This is very nice. The uh, the food coming out smells absolutely divine uh, as well. It is, uh, it's a lovely looking place. Uh, got some ales on. Hey, I've got a bear sand inception again over on, a, over on the corner. But yeah, look at this. Yeah, how beautiful this little place is. Very nice. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with Buxton through and through at the moment. Beautiful places. This little place uh, that. Uh, and yeah, stumbling distance across. It's all like a big square now. So now it feels it's up now where we are because it all felt a big countryside from where we've been so far. So this feels a bit more like a towny area. And the next stop is King's Head. This beautiful old pub building again, Marston's. So now what to expect with Marston. So that is uh, that is the next stop. Uh, I think it's number thirteen. We've got about seven more to do after this. Like. Down at Marston's office, as you expect to find. Cut on the uh, cut on the hand pulls. Thanks to Pedigree on them. It's what you'd expect to find in the Martins, isn't it? But it's got a sport on. Um, it's a big, it's a big busy pub, and it? it's got the England. Can't really, uh, can't really quibble with, with what it is. I think so. Pretty standard Martins pubs. I can't really tell you much more about Martins pubs than you already know because they're pretty much all the same. Bog standard stuff on the taps. Not a great choice on the hand pulls. Um, but it's what it is. They're watching the football in there. It was all right. Uh, we walked across what looks like that big sort of market squarey thing now. A minute or so, they come to the vault. So the vault is stop, uh, I want to say 13, might be 14, I'll have to check the list. That's the next one on the list though, 14, maybe. Uh, apparently she's had a reef over here. It looks very smart, it's very snazzy, to be honest. Uh, again, they've got a football on, uh, not with any volume. We've got a bit of dirty dancing playing instead, but you know, no, everything. Uh, it's only a friendly, I suppose. Uh, whatever the reef they've had in it. Pretty nice, to be fair. And look, I'm probably phony and everything. Distinct lack of plugs uh, around a lot of the bucks and pubs we've been to so far, so it's nice to get a bit of charge. Not that sort of charge, just like get your mind out of the gutter. Directly next door, down, uh, down the little side street, uh, is the ale house. So, next protocol, literally sat on the uh, on the side, just here. 
I was here, so looking forward to this one. I, I love a good ale house, so that's uh, that's next, next stop. This thing's absolutely wicked. Uh, four hand pop on, which are good ones. I've got this hair of a dog, it's very nice as well. But yeah, wicked little place. And look at this, playing music from a proper source. Can't go wrong with that, can you? Wicked little place. Right, next one up is the Queen's Head. Uh, obviously, uh, still a functioning hotel, it's bed and breakfast, stuff like that. Some lovely stained glass up on the sides. Old school looking building. Happy to have made it along. Old school, so obviously old school hotel sort of uh, accommodation stuff going on. It's a screen, it's a screen everywhere. Um, cut a handful. Decent enough selection of stuff on the taps as well. Decent stuff. Oh, it feels like a, a historic old building. And yeah, I, to be honest, I quite like it. Real mix of people using it again, old and young. Um, decent mix. I like it. Straight across the road, uh, two. Bill looking, Old Sun Inn. Feels a little bit more subdued, a little bit calmer, perhaps, than the one over the road. I like it. Uh, but there are several more. So old Sun Inn next. Love this. This is wicked. Like uh, old school beams, low ceiling, and on. Handballs. A decent enough stuff on the tap. Wine, spirits, and a real low ceiling, old school looking vibe. Look at this. Look. Stone walls and. Yeah, absolutely love it, yeah. I think this is proper wicked. So we've now come and sit in what they call a snug. And it is tough. It's there is literally, we are the only people in this little tiny room. So you get your own little private room. I love it. This is wicked. This is really, really old school, really old pub. I absolutely love this. I loved it in there. That is so, that's so old, historic and wicked that I didn't think I was going to top it. And then I walked two doors down the road. I found a Cheshire cheese, which is the Titanic Berry pub. Ah, oh, I absolutely adore Titanic Brewery, as anybody who's watched this channel before will know. And now I'm very excited to be in the Cheshire Cheese. Love Titanic Brewery. And my question would be, do Titanic Brewery do bad pubs? I know the answer. The answer is no, they don't. Always got some of the greatest things of their own on. Wicked pub, again. But like I said, these said, you know my feelings on pub for It's amazing, isn't it? But it's a wicked little vibe in. Wicked little place in. A bit of uh, live music and stuff on. It's not really uh, different. It's different. But it looks like a Titanic pub. It feels like a Titanic pub. And the plum pour, as always, bang on. Titanic Brewery, they don't do bad pubs. They really don't. They, they honestly don't. Titanic Brewery, I've never been to the bad Titanic pub, but I don't think there is one. The Swan. Beautiful old looking building on the corner of Church Street. Penultimate pub, I think. I think we've got one more to do from here, the Blazing Rag. And then we're done. So yeah, not done too bad, have we? Swan up next. With the old school dance vibe going. Oh, old school boozer. Proper old school low boozer. Final five minute walk of the night. Brings us to the Blazing Rag. Far, farthest point down uh, that you can probably get to. Uh, up towards the Premier Inn where we're staying. So Blazing Rag, final stop of the night. Making it 21, I think. Interesting one to finish that. I didn't film in there. There was um, a bunch of lads who were, oh, filming, what are you filming? And I say, yeah, I wouldn't say that that's the friendliest one. Probably the worst one that we could have finished with in Buxton, but yeah. Um, Buxton's been great. But yeah, I would probably, it wasn't, it, it definitely wasn't worth the six minute walk down to the Blazing Rag, uh, if I'm honest, so wouldn't bother. Um, yeah, weird one, definitely a locals pub. Not friendly to outsiders, particularly. Landlord was, Landlord was all right, uh, and one of the guys was all right. They sort of just a, a cab out that we wanted, if we, if we wanted one, but yeah, the rest of it wasn't. The lads in there, yeah, yeah drunk idiots, young lads, but is what it is. Thanks for watching guys, really do appreciate it. I said, please, please, please do hit subscribe. Love it, really appreciate it. See you next week.